What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back bringing you another video and take a look at it. We're taking a look at, to start a Town Hall 14 attack. This one was crazy, had three clone spells and uh, we'll see how they're used in a second. Also, this attack just over two minutes long. So we're really seeing some bases uh, getting just steamrolled here at Town Hall 14. Uh, makes you wonder a little bit about the balance, but um, yeah, have this attack, have some uh, Town Hall 13 and 12 action as well. like to, to mix it up here and there, uh, but this was very nice, you know, nice even spread of the Dragon Riders, of the Dragons, Queen doing her thing, she'll come in there, grab that single Inferno. That's the thing about having those tricky walls is you open things up for the, the heroes. And then right there, the, all the clone spells are basically dropped kind of in a, uh, a little pattern around that area. They actually kind of avoid most of the town hall damage. So, very interesting. I mean, those balloons almost died out before any of them could even be cloned. So, it makes you wonder. I mean, the town hall goes down. That's really all that was needed. So, not like a ton of value out of those clone spells. Um, but, yeah, definitely makes me wonder. Like, uh, okay, I mean, this is... This base is still pretty much toast here. But mainly because of the world champion able to come in and finish things off. Um has like a, a dragon, the, the warden, looks like a barbarian king might still be up. So I think Town Hall 14, you know, a lot's working and especially these air attacks, you know, with the dragon riders, the dragons, um, all these different air troops you have at your disposal, spread them out right, get good value from your heroes and just time things right. The blimp is very nice for kind of coming in there, getting the Town Hall if it's on the back end. Uh, definitely doable, not, you know, pretty big room for error it looks like, just taking a look at that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, this war, uh, we did not win. It was a friendly war, and it's really Town Hall 14, we're seeing three stars, but Town Hall 12 and 13, it's not a done deal. So I think we're seeing kind of almost comparable difficulty levels. But let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious to get some other perspectives on that, on kind of what Town Hall levels you guys are finding uh, to be difficult, what the balance you guys uh, are finding. Anyway, this next one, I had to show it. Um, actually, there's two Lalos. This one, I think, isn't even my favorite of the video. Um, but it was a cool Lalo, and I want to show it, because I'm, I'm always a fan when people do kind of a Queen Walk Lalo or something that takes, you know, all that extra planning, um, a little bit more than kind of the last attack. So to start, um, comes in there, just basically lures the CC, has a Yeti that I think, maybe the goal was to get the Queen taken out, but even if not that it didn't really matter because the uh the actual archer queen herself will step up and take down the defensive queen yeah i think it, that wasn't the goal because um has the the headhunter to help with that a nice freeze for the single inferno skeletons pop up you got to be ready for that it's a good defensive uh, tactic to put those little skeletons uh near your uh, inferno towers right there had to hit the queen's ability so that you know that skeleton trap Really got some good value forcing the queen's ability, uh, but still it's not going to be a huge difference. Um, I believe this was a cleanup attack, so uses those super wall breakers knowing some Teslas are going to pop up and he can target that wall with the super wall breakers. Letting the queen go in there, access the eagle, and I think one more wall breaker will even let her all the way in to the eagle compartment itself. Uh, the eagle did fire, but it locked onto the king, so no big deal. And then another headhunter uh, for the king, love to see it. Um, not gonna make a huge difference here, but it's, you know, it's nice to speed things up a little bit there and it'll run around a little bit, you know, trigger some traps and stuff. Anyway though, here comes the main push and you can see, gets some nice swings from the defensive, or from the Barbarian King onto the Royal Champion. Uh, that is not trivial at all, actually gets her extremely low and that Headhunter just finishes her off with like one shot there, if you saw it at the top of the screen. Um, so that's definitely helpful because the, the Royal Champion can be a huge nuisance. Even if you get the defensive Archer Queen down, still got to worry about her. A nice use of the Invisibility spell on the Queen, taking some damage off of her. I believe that Expo will get her down, but we'll see. It's going to be close. Meanwhile, the Balloon's coming in. Uh, very nice of the Stone Slammer to lock onto the uh, Royal Champion there and uh, not do any damage to that big clump of Balloons. Uh, so good stuff. The pathing to the Town Hall was a little bit iffy on this base, but did a good job. Coming in with some balloons up at like the 2 o'clock position and forcing the main group just straight to the town hall. Um, queen did stay up for the entirety of this attack. Got a ton of value uh, from that queen charge. So uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one here uh, down to number 15. 
Um, okay, so this is not, we're not that Lala one yet. There was a really nice Lala I want to show. Um, but at first I want to show, this was definitely the majority of, well, maybe not the majority, but it was definitely the most popular attack we saw pretty much across all Town Hall levels, the Super Witches, but especially at Town Hall 12 and 13, um, really just being reliable. And uh, this actually kind of looks like a base I would design. It looks a little bit like my style. I might believe it if it was uh, claimed to be my base, but I doubt it would just be randomly appearing in this war. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd point that out. Uh, so a nice little uh, Warden Walk. It does take a little bit of time, and you gotta be careful because the super witches, they also are pretty slow, you know, through cleanup, and uh, you don't want to waste too much time up front. But if the value's there, it's very nice to get that uh, warden to take out one of the inferno towers as he sets up the nice funnel there. King, witch, wizard on the other side, pretty typical stuff there. Not trying to do a whole lot besides just take out some of those external uh, buildings. Really, it's going to be the um, log launcher that's going to be very clutch here. Just opening everything up. There's a ton of walls in the middle of the base. Only thing you got to be careful with a log launcher is it takes a little while. You know, it takes several of these logs, I think four of them or something, to really open up uh, the actual wall segments themselves. So if you're too late on the log launcher or too early with some of your troops, the walls won't be open. They'll like go somewhere else before the path has been created. So you got to be patient. In this case, things work out. Even has that back end jump just to make sure the town hall is 100% accessible by the troops. So I love seeing that, and it paid off because the Pekka is what's going to take down the town hall, and uh, it you know it utilized that jump spell very well. I think the Pekka must have been in the uh, in the wall or sorry in the log launcher. A few nice cleanup troops. Love to see the balloons, uh, baby dragon. You know not. Not putting everything in that push because you know oftentimes it's going to be those cleanup troops that are what you need to kind of finish off the base. Still has, looks like two super witches working, that healer getting everything up to full health. Not that it really matters here because the queen's going to do her thing, uh, take out most of the remaining defenses with her ability. And then that entire kind of convoy coming on the, the right side of the screen there, just taking everything out fast forward. Queen's ability, uh, nice and easy. Good attack and uh, fun one to watch, but... Let's go ahead, I mean, I've been kind of pumping up this Lalo one, but this one I really liked. Um, probably my favorite attack I saw from this war. So, um, good base identification, and then uh, one thing we love to see is on a cleanup attack, you know there's going to be some Teslas. You know, you, you watch the previous attack, you know the Teslas are in the core here. So, it's going to come in just a moment or two. You can see not a whole lot of time to spare in this attack either, about 10 seconds. Um, looks like, yeah, just an archer on the outside over there. Drops down the uh, skeleton spell just to make those Teslas pop up, and then drops down the lightning spells, uh, followed by the typical earthquake, the usual combination. Uh, gets a little bit of damage onto the other Inferno, which is not negligible. That's like a couple balloon drops almost. You know, it's that 25% damage that um, Inferno Tower, or not 25%, but um, it looked like about 25 if you had to, to total everything up. But what I'm saying is, it was a great use of the skeleton spell and then of the earthquake spell, maximizing the effectiveness of that little maneuver at the beginning. Uh, some people might just, you know, drop the lightnings, take out the inferno tower, but you can get some more value than just that uh, with that extra trick. So, comes in with the Sui heroes. Um, I think there was an archer at the beginning to create a funnel or something, which was a nice, efficient use of an archer when the as time was going on there. Uh, but the heroes come in. This all could have been done a little bit quicker, um, you know, the spell combination, the heroes, but, you know, pretty good. You don't want to rush too much and mess up timing or drop the wrong thing or something like that. So I like the minions are going down at the beginning, but check this out. The Stone Slammer coming through, and usually someone would start the Lalo right now, but instead drops down four balloons. Those are just to get in there and take out that uh, air defense. That's it. Um, and then going to wait a little longer because, look, nothing can even target that stone slammer really. Um, I think this could have gone on for another 10, 15 seconds, but uh, just because of time, has to get the Lalo started, otherwise the attack will literally run out of time. Um, looks like there's a few archers in the uh, clan castle that might be a bit of a nuisance, but nothing too serious. Uh, stone slammer about to pop right there. So I always love seeing people actually get that value from the stone slammer. You know, don't, don't make it so that the uh, slammer is gonna be up when everything else dies right away get that value from the hit points it has at the beginning. It's quite a lot of hit points. Um, so Dragon Rider in the CC with some more max level balloons. 
everything kind of converging. Pretty nice job in the Lalo, nice and patient with that last haste. And of course, uh, the warden's ability to take us home over the town hall, the um, tornado, the air defense, just so much there. Uh, really was clutch having that warden's ability there and ton of balloons left up. So nice attack. Um, has the cleanup as well. A sneaky goblin somewhere in here. You can, you know, you can never never overlook the little things on these attacks. So hope you guys enjoyed that haste spell getting some value, speeding things up to get back there and finish the cleanup actually. That was cool to watch. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.